Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, joined by the man of IFL TV at the minute. First of all, thank you uh, for giving us some views throughout the week, Gareth. Absolute pleasure, I've showered. <laughs> Brilliant, OK. Right, let's talk about it. We're here at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. We've just had the post-fight press conference. Tyson Fury kind of done what he had to do against Derek Chisora. What did you make of the fight, first of all? Well, it was a dominant fight. I thought Derek should have been pulled out after eight rounds. Um, you know, Fury smothered Derek when he was in close. He got caught a few times, but he just showed his whole arsenal, his whole array. Um, I'd like to have seen him go after a finish after about six rounds. I thought he was going to finish him after three or four, actually. Derek was close, but when Derek gets in that zombie state, that very brave kind of courageous zombie state he just keeps going and he isn't going to be put down um, there was maybe a little bit of old pals act in there that Tyson really didn't want to beat him up too hard and hurt him he got the rounds in um, yeah it was it was a it was a dominant one-sided beat down by Tyson Fury and mercifully Victor Lochlin stepped in uh, in the 10th round I think it was what was it 15 seconds to go something like that and frankly uh, I think Derek's corner should have pulled him out earlier, but they don't want to because they know how courageous he is and they know what kind of man he is. Just watching you throughout the week and Tyson, I feel like you've been in awe of him, uh, really, and just he's been excellent value throughout the week. Just a word on how box office Tyson has become and everything he does throughout the whole show. Well, I'm not in awe of Tyson Fury. I, 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 you know, I, I respect him. I, he's amazing to cover as a journalist and a broadcaster. Um, you know, I, I would say I, I have a friendship with him, but I also have a very strong working relationship where I jump in and ask too many questions sometimes. I had the privilege of going in his dressing room early, which I've had several times when I've been at his fights. Um, he's an extraordinary talent. He's a special talent. I've been doing this 30 years, and he's one of the, the most extraordinary people. Even the press conference afterwards tonight, he kind of... Joe Joyce and Yusuke handled in the corner. I got trapped behind Tyson Fury. I had the talk sport mic at the time. And he did a brilliant job of promoting two fights next year. So when he gets here on the dais with two of the most amazing promoters of all time, in Frank Warren and Bob Arum, and I mean the most amazing of all time, he's up here and he's kind of putting it on a plate for them as well. I remember Bob Arum telling me that Muhammad Ali taught him about promoting. I think Tyson Fury does the same with these guys. It's such a synergy between them. That was a box office press conference as well. Um, we know what's happening next year now. Tyson Fury, as you say, all week, didn't want to talk about Usyk. Switched on to it now. It's so good to hear that he doesn't want to retire, that he wants to carry on, that he wants to have several fights. I've asked him just now, you're not going to be able to give this up, are you? How can you give it up when you walk out to that many people and you're dominating opponents, where people are giving you opportunities, where, let's say that he's got three books out that, that went to number one bestseller. He's got a Netflix series being made about him. He's got the world at his feet. He's got movie opportunities if he wants them. But what he knows is fighting. He's from a family, a traveller family, a very proud traveller family, the Furies who go back in history, 10 generations of bare-knuckle fighters. It's their national sport, it's their obsession. And he is the star in that role. Um, so it's just an incredible story. It's a privilege to be around it. And it was a fascinating night tonight. No, we all want to go home, Gareth. Uh, oh, God, I really want to go home. Yeah. I want to <laughs> well, have a little tequila, actually. Uh, a, little, a little puffer and then a shower, of course. Have you got your puffer on you tonight? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Come on, let's get it out, let's get it out. <laughs> <laughs> the staple of the IFL interview. I think they were sponsoring the event, weren't they? They were, Elux. Yeah, I've got a free one from them at the moment. <laughs> yeah, so just talk to me about that trio of heavyweights. <laughs> Playing the piano music. <laughs> Alexander Usyk, Joe Joyce, Tyson Fury. Obviously, Usyk, Fury's the one we want, but Joe Joyce is up there. They're both well. older than Fury, <laughs> by the way. The two fights. It's funny, isn't it? Anthony Joshua isn't being talked about now. That's his own fault. That's his own fault. Get in the mix. 
I didn't want him to take the Fury fight tonight. It was the wrong time for him to take it. But we need to hear more from him. We need to hear about his desire and his wills. Because Anthony Joshua should be in that mix. Because he's a big figure as well. Joe Joyce against Tyson Fury is probably the harder fight for Fury to win. I like the truth tonight. He said that himself. And so did the promoters. I think that's a massive Wembley Stadium fight. If they can do it there. Alexander Usyk, Middle East fight. He's a lot smaller than Tyson Fury. And that's his problem. He's going, to have, he's going to struggle with the size of Tyson Fury. It's an eight rounds to four win oh, on points for Tyson Fury against Usyk. Joe Joyce is the harder fight right now for Tyson Why Fury. Why is it Joshua's fault that he's not in that mix? Because he's not around us. He's not, he should be at these events. He should be talking to us. The less is more policy is over. We want to see him. I'm saying it as a fan of his. As a fan of a guy we want to see in the biggest heavyweight fights, who helped transform British boxing over the last 10 years, who has made it easier for people like Tyson Fury to come back and grow, to give him the motivation when he was 400 and fight the Joshuas. Now, Anthony Joshua deserves great credit, but at the moment, he's in the wilderness, in my view. I think he'll fight Dillian White next, but let's hear about Anthony Joshua as well. That's why. I just want to see more of him. Gareth, thank you very much for speaking to IFL throughout the whole weekend. I'm sure you'll catch up with Umar next week. Uh, get a full review of the whole week. Cheers, My Gareth. Pleasure. My pleasure. Cheers. Channel 5. Troy Williamson defends his British Super Welterweight Championship against the pretty boy Josh Kelly. Who wins? Find out Friday, December the 2nd, 9pm, live and free on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.